me está llamando.
take the fourth step, that we may be ever full of joy. I will ever live devoted to you, speaking words of love and praying for your happiness. Take the fifth step, the walking round a fire, that we may serve the people. I will follow close behind you and help to serve the people. Take the sixth step, that we may follow our vows in life. I will follow you in all our vows and duties. Take the seventh step, that we may ever live as friends. You are my best friend, my highest guru, and my sovereign lord.
started the, the video with Stote Nema. Yeah. That means why you're not here. Yeah. So what was the symbolic for you to start uh, like that? So for me, it's we're in the middle of pandemic. There are so many people that can't be with their loved ones. Hopefully know? end of the pandemic. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah, we're getting there. Exactly, we're getting there. So maybe this was like the last being dramatic of me, hopefully. But I can't be, you know, with my love, with, with my partner uh, who is in New York. We've been separate so long. And there are so many people out there like me that can't be with their love. So I thought like Stotenema is kind of a good... People will feel that, you know, people can resonate with that meaning, I think. What about Zaidi Zaidi? Uh, yeah. Can you tell something about that song and the new album that you are preparing? Yeah, so, well, I grew up with that song. It's the song of my mom and dad, you know, so I grew up with that. It's a very special meaning for me. And so then we were start speaking about the project and the new album, where we're gonna, you know, make like electronic versions of Balkan classic, you know, like for me, it's it's so close to my heart, this song and many of these other songs. So I'm, I'm super passionate about it to make it make it beautiful. Many of the things you heard in the track we recorded in Beograd with musicians from the Philharmonica Orchestra, the clarinet and the trumpet, like amazing players. And then uh, I believe she was here, you know, uh, the princess to to sing it. So um, I'm super excited to really bring this out there. And this is just the beginning, you know, this this song is like a month fresh almost, you know, so. It's just the tip of the iceberg, what is coming, I think. Uh, we are doing this project to support the European Day, which is uh, promotes peace and uh, unity uh, in Europe. Uh, I wonder what peace means for you? Peace with others, but also peace with yourself and inside yourself. Yeah, well, my name Satori, you know, is about that like enlightenment feeling. And it's for me, it's about being one and it sounds like a cliche, but I do believe, that's why I chose the name Satori, I do believe that music can bring people together in a way none of the presidents in the world could ever do, you know. Music has that power to go beyond culture, beyond borders, beyond presidency, beyond authority and bring people together and they don't care about what passport you have, you know, they just dance and feel the music and for me that's a Satori moment and that's all about peace, you know, music I think definitely can have that unity among people where they just forget wherever you live and whoever you are you know they just feel the music they are in the zone yeah and that's also the exit mission and uh, we say uh, our motto is peace on earth but also peace with earth mm. and uh, having in mind uh, having in mind the climate danger we are in uh, do you think that our generation can finally lead the humanity with a balance with nature or what do you feel about it? I hope so. There's a lot of steps to go, of course. And I think the, so the, the, the Vincia project that we're going to premiere on Exit Festival, it's about portraying a culture that was one with nature. So I think if we look a little bit more back to these ancient civilizations who were way more harmonic with nature, I just came to me from Mexico. I saw the beautiful Mayan civilization and all these things they have. And there's so many old cultures out there who was more in peace with nature. And I think we should also kind of look a bit back and see how they were doing that and learn from that and not just kind of dismiss it as like, yeah, it's old times, no. When you travel the world and connect all of these different traditions and spirituality concepts, uh, what do you see that connects it all? You wrote, you t told me once about how in Mexico, when you play Balkan sounds, they think it's their own. That's a nice story. I played, I played, uh, I think I played Idalesi and people came to me, yeah, how, the way you opened with these Mexican chants. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Again, it, it just has this power to take people beyond of this, what they know and the bubble they're in. And I'm from this country and you're from that country. That all doesn't exist. That's just created by the mind, you know, but when they feel it with the heart, like Idalesi, they just go beyond and, and they just feel the spirit and that's how I was raised. Other music in different cultures, it's for me that they connect just with the spirit of the song and not so much with the intellectual meaning of the song. So the spirit connects us all. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We have the same soul. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.